Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mackenzie Boyle, and I'm the Grants Management Specialist for the ARPA Healthy Homes Manufactured Housing Communities Initiative. The goal of this PowerPoint is to provide guidance to MHCs on how to manage their award with the state. This will include things like federal requirements, submitting required information before getting paid, how to submit invoices, and much more. Let's get started. This first true page is a table of contents, which you may find helpful when you're trying to look for guidance on a very specific part of your award. Next, we have some important terminology. Your technical project manager and I will regularly reference these terms, so I highly suggest you familiarize yourself with them. Speaking of your technical project manager, Rosalie Sharp is the lead technician for your award. She can answer questions about your scope of work, invoice submissions, deliverables, and reporting requirements. As I stated earlier, I am the Grants Management Specialist, GMS, for your award, and I can help answer questions about language in the agreements, procurement policies, insurance requirements, and more. There will be nine main sections of your agreement. This slide gives a brief overview of those nine main sections. Contingency funds are money that the state has set aside for your award, should you need it, but it is not originally part of your base award amount. Should you find that your project may exceed the base award amount given to you, you should reach out to the TPM via email and request to use contingency funds. You have to apply to use contingency funds and make the case for why your project may require it. Please note, the state cannot allocate more than $75,000 for a technical assistance and permitting project, and also cannot allocate more than $1,250,000 for a construction project. That being said, if you have been awarded $75,000 for a technical assistance and permitting project, and or $1,250,000 for a construction project, Contingency funding is not available to you because you have already been awarded the maximum amount. All projects must submit an A&R Healthy Homes Manufactured Housing Communities project report by the first of each month. All projects will also receive a link to a Microsoft form from the state on a quarterly basis that the MHC must complete before the fifth day after each quarter end. Quarter end dates are listed on this slide. If the state is funding construction for your project, you must also submit a certificate of substantial completion only once when most of the construction is complete. If the state is funding a wastewater and or a stormwater slash drainage project, you will be required to submit two reports, the stormwater slash drainage reporting spreadsheet, the instructions will be included as an attachment in your agreement, and the clean water performance requirements. The state cannot release payment to you until you provide the deliverables as outlined in your milestone and deliverables table, so we strongly encourage you to keep a detailed schedule of when your reporting requirements and other deliverables are due. We have provided four other tips for properly maintaining your award file here in this slide. If your project requires you to hire a subcontractor or subgrantee, you must 1 have and follow a procurement policy. The state will not provide you with one. Two, perform a debarment search and retain proof the subcontractor or subgrantee is not suspended or debarred. Three, address any conflict of interest you have with the subcontractor or subgrantee to the TPM. Four, follow the Vermont prevailing wage rate and five, Follow the procurement requirements outlined in Part 2, Standard Grant Agreement, Section 4, portion of your award. You must have your own procurement policy, and you must follow it. The state does not provide you with a procurement policy to follow. You do not need to submit your procurement policy to the state unless someone from the state specifically requests it. The state does, however, require you to follow minimum competitive bidding requirements as outlined in this slide, and also in Part 2 Standard Grant Agreement, Section 4 of your agreement. In order to perform a debarment search, you must have a SAM.gov account. 
To create an account, click on the link in this slide. You must search for suspension and debarment in two places, SAM.gov and the Vermont Agency of Administration's debarment list. You must save proof the subcontractor and subgrantee is not suspended or debarred in your award file. You must submit an official notice to your TPM if you know of or believe there is a conflict of interest between you and your subcontractor or subgrantee. If you do not disclose this information and the TPM has reason to suspect there may be a conflict of interest, the state reserves the right to investigate the situation and withhold payment until resolved. During the agreement lifetime, a recipient may use property, supplies, or equipment purchased or improved with the agreement funds for a purpose other than originally intended if the purpose is also consistent with the eligible use requirements. If a recipient changes the use to an ineligible use or sells the asset prior to the end of the agreement, then the recipient must follow the disposition procedures in uniform guidance. After the agreement end, the property, supplies, or equipment must be used consistent with the purpose for which it was purchased or improved, or for any other eligible purpose in the same category as the purpose reported to Treasury as of the final reporting period. You can read more about property standards in 2 CFR 200.310 through 316. The milestone and deliverable schedule is also known as the M&D table and can be located in attachment A of your agreement. It is one of the most vital parts of your agreement because it summarizes the documents you are required to submit to the state. These documents also come with deadlines. The state reserves the right to withhold payment until the documents outlined in your M&D table are received and accepted by the TPM. We highly encourage you to very carefully review your M&D table. Submission of deliverables must be sent via email to anr.healthyhomesatvermont.gov with MHC deliverable submission in the subject line. In the email, you must include the name of the MHC and the title or number of the milestone and deliverable you're submitting. An example is provided in this slide. Invoices are processed through the state's invoicing portal known as ANR Online. You must have an account in order to use this portal. For questions about what can be submitted for reimbursement under your award, please contact your TPM. Payment may take up to two months or longer to process. Payment will automatically be mailed to the address provided on the W-9 submitted to the state. Please contact the GMS if the address on the W-9 is not the mailing address of the MHC or if the address provided is incorrect. To set up an account in ANR Online, click the hyperlink attached to the ANR Online wording in the left-hand side of this slide. This will take you to the ANR Online website where you can create an account and log in. Please note that not all browsers are compatible with ANR Online. See the bottom right-hand corner of this slide for more information. This slide outlines how to submit a payment request in ANR Online. For questions about how to use ANR Online, please contact the GMS. For questions about what can be invoiced for, please contact the TPM. In order to submit your invoices, you must attach a completely filled out Form 430. You will be able to find a Form 430 template attached to your agreement. If your invoice is the final invoice you anticipate to submit against your award, there are special steps you must take to flag it as final. This step is important because it will initiate the GMS to begin closing out your award in the state's financial system. This final slide contains resources MHCs may use to obtain additional funding for their projects. We sincerely hope you find these resources and the rest of the slideshow helpful.